fumbles, tries to get down onto the left foot, goes back on the right, beautiful play, comes back on his left foot again, up in towards Fletcher, Fletcher tackled by Silvani but gets around him, a long kick in towards full foot, there's Luff's Lindsay in there, hits down nicely now, over towards David Shaw, David Shaw scrambling with balls, and Barry Gill, Barry Gill cop one for his double and gets the free. This kick is a poor one however, threw his hands up in disgust but here's a go, David Shaw, Shaw a left foot up. Oh, what a good effort on the kid. Blue up towards the forward pocket on the member stand side. Sure is there, knocked away, it goes to Walls. He's oh. taken to the ground, holding the ball. In towards Shaw, Shaw, grabbed by Gill, oh, loses sure. the ball, but a play on as the call. In towards the forward pocket, towards the half forward. Oh, oh Barry Gill missed time but badly. Shaw racing for it. Hesitates slightly, but covers the ball. A long kick and goal. Look at this. Jones. Over towards the flank, Shaw battling with Croswell. Very strong play by Shaw. He'll get a free here shortly. Gets it, gets it, gets up high. It goes to David Shaw, who's on the opposite flank. He puts his left foot into it. Thank you very much, Ray, Tim, ladies and gentlemen. This is a real, uh, a, a real honour for me because I always believed that I was a, one of Jack Dyer's. Uh, footballers when he called them good ordinary footballers. But I was very fortunate to be able to, um, to play in an era where my first coach was Dick Reynolds, my second coach was John Coleman and my third coach was Jack Clark, all of whom you've seen tonight as legends. <laughs> but apart from the coaches, it was the players that that joined, that became our team at the time, and they were full of champions. I won't name them, but we were reasonably successful during the 1960s. But more importantly, the bond and the friendships that I made at the Essendon Football Club has lasted me until now, and our friendship with the players that we have will go on forever. I have recently just uh, undergone a bit of a a setback and the number of players who rang me was amazing and I thank them for that. But talking of players, I'd like to congratulate the, uh, the new players who received their jumpers today. They are starting out on a career which we all enjoyed. But I just want to say to them that they are privileged to be able to play league football and they are certainly privileged to play for the Essendon Football Club. So my, my only little bit of advice to them is, don't take it for granted. There'll be thousands and thousands of boys out there who'd love to be in your position. Make the most of it, enjoy it, and success will come, and the football club will look after you for the rest of your life. To my fellow inductees, I would just congratulate them. Very well deserved, and uh, to especially to the legend who's being inducted tonight, James, James Hurd. Congratulations, James. Not only on that, but also being appointed coach of our football team. And it's, it's quite obvious when I looked at the way the players approached the game during the recent NAB Cup that James has already stamped his authority and his... Uh, uh, influence on our team and I'm sure that we can look forward to something very special this year and, and for years to come. <laughs> the only last thing I'd like to say is that uh, I'd like to congratulate Bomber Thompson who was my, cap my captain when I was president and on his magnificent career at Geelong but Bomber, it's so good to have you home at Essendon where you belong. So thank you very much. This is a, a real honour for me and uh, I'd like to wish the club all the very best for the forthcoming season. Thank you very much. <laughs>